welcome to Cocktails with Tia and the Jays. I'm Turquoise, this is my mother Janice and my sister Jenny. And today our topics are Portia and her man stealing ways. <laughs> people <laughs> are man stealing. people stealing gasoline because there's a gasoline sh uh, shortage. A black man accused black women of not working out. 50 Cent comes to Omaha, Nebraska, and much more. All right, so. Now, I kind of think I didn't about this stuff, but who cares? I saw for Portia. Uh, so, Portia Williams is from Atlanta Housewives, and she had a friend on there named Fallon. And Fallon is married to an older man named, I think his name is Simon. So, apparently, Portia is not engaged to this man. And they've been dating for the past month. She's saying that her and Fallon were never friends. Mm -mm. Her and Fallon were never friends and blah blah blah. Just make up excuses basically for why she's with her the Fallon's uh, ex husband, soon to be ex husband. So, mother, what are what are your thoughts on that? It's terrible. I can't believe she did that. She says she don't know her, but she was at her house right. swimming. All of them swimming together, and then they had that Halloween party. And I think that's where they must have met. But she said she never knew her before the tape. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, according to Tammy, because Tammy, uh, Tammy Roman, oh, okay. she spoke on the situation. She said, <laughs> like, like in a lot of reality shows, these women really don't be knowing each other. But to introduce a new mm -hmm. castmate, they have to tie them to somebody. She was saying how they did that a lot in basketball wise, and more than likely when Portia said that they weren't friends when they were going to introduce Fallon into the group, they introduced her as Portia's friend because they felt like she meshed well with her, and they always do that to add new people into a circle on a reality show. So it's like, well, well, that makes sense. So they they probably didn't know each other and they had to play uh, friends, but regardless to the fact that Portia was in these people's house, mm -hmm. the fact that she, you know, met this man, and the fact that she even said on the show, "Ooh, I got, I need me one of those." And she's like, "Oh, you got a, you know, fifty-some-year-old uh, millionaire. I need me one of those." And for her to turn around and get with that same man, oh, but she didn't still know. I will say this because her, and the dude and his wife Fallon, they broke up, and uh, according to the streets. Fallon cheated on him with one of his friends, and I almost feel like the whole Portia thing is a revenge thing. But that's just I my heard opinion. That Dennis introduced Fallon. That, that he works with, uh, uh, yeah, because he uh, he works with Dennis. Oh. The, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Is um, and our cousin Taisha's watching. Hi, Hi. 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 Alice. Thank you guys Hi. for joining us. Um, happy belated. Today no, it's uh, Cherry's, Cherry's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Auntie. But anyway, but so yeah, because that's the same thing I was about to say is they met because of um, Dennis. He was Dennis' business partner, so obviously Fallon and Portia knew each other before the show. Right. Yeah. So, well, because yeah, like like so yeah, said, yeah, they had to have yeah. an interaction to come out that they were friends. Yeah, that's that's yeah. absolutely right. I do think it's weird when people, like it's way too many people in the world to feel like, like I would never want to date either no, or that I'm related to. I would not date an ex of a friend. I would not date an ex of somebody that I'm related to. Well, you ain't going to be dating, girl, because everybody didn't date everybody. But that doesn't mean that I have to date somebody that's been with somebody I know, though. Yeah. There's too many people in the world for that. Yeah. I. Yeah, it's I weird. Think. I don't. Weird. Or I wouldn't, but that's because I don't even want to date. Well, yeah, that, yeah that's uh, different. If I end up liking somebody that had to been dating somebody that I know, if I liked them enough, I probably would. I wouldn't do what Portia did, but if my friend had a husband or a boyfriend, they broke up. Even if it was years later, I, I couldn't see. Like, it's just weird. Him. It's yeah, weird. It, it, it is. And then it's trifling. It, it is trifling. Hell, maybe I that's like being trifling. Maybe I mean, people. Don't I, I don't think that she. I just think it's weird. I just think it's weird. Portia has a right to be mad. 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 Portia has a right to be mad.
Yeah, and then um, she also, she I'm not sure if this happened before she came out that she was dating Simon, but Portia got a, was it three episode series on Bravo TV about her life? And I feel like, in a sense, this is a, a way to promote, line. yeah, a way to promote her new show that's coming out. Yeah, it's a storyline. To G. Because no, know, just to, to hype up the in. show because people are like all oh, this stuff going on. Yeah. I'm gonna watch to see yeah. if I see even if he's drop. not in. It, yeah, even if he's not in. Exactly. exactly. And this is the most like talked about story. You know, it's kind of ridiculous. Like this other thing going on in the world besides Portia being a man. Yeah. This has been like a. Or who she like right. Right. Yeah, she's she's like a stripper. I hate to say we don't like right. the man still. So I'm sorry, we just don't like. But technically, you can't steal a man. Yes. You can't steal a man. Don't want to go. You can't steal a man, the decision is up to him, but you definitely can influence that decision. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, not no God fearing faith in man. And like Taisha saying, we're talking about Portia here, y'all. She will wherever the money is. Exactly. She where the money resides. That that's about her. She go wherever the money resides. Yeah, she yeah. earned forty million. That's what she wants. That's what she wants. She said she wanted him on the show. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so me one of them. And then when you really think about it though. Everybody, the choices that they make is on them. It is, but yes. every a lot of things are influenced. So you see, poor and I'm a woman. Portia is attractive. I don't. I'm not. I don't think. I'm no, not Portia is beautiful. Like she's she beautiful. has a nice shape. You know, she's, she's a pretty woman. woman. Mm -hmm. So of course, if she's flying herself in front of him. He's not going to turn it down. A guy would turn down somebody that was ugly with flat ass and flat titty. They wouldn't so turn him down either. That, that's what I yeah mm -hmm. just said. <laughs> so it's like. She did have that influence. I don't, yeah. I don't care. Um, I don't have anything else to say about Portia. That I really like. I, just, her. I like Portia. I do. That has, like that, I get, that gets but that does like, like make me look at her differently because, yeah. like that. And I'm pretty sure she messed with Bella. Well, well, that but that's her business though. Her being a single woman. She said I mess with everything I want yeah, to. She, <laughs> that's that's her she don't care. No, no, really so. sorry, she don't have no morals though. Yeah, she don't have no morals. Yeah. 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 No morals. Yeah. 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 All right, so moving along from that trifling lady, although I, I like how, Portia. Yeah, but that makes me look at her side. Yeah, it. that that was so, kind of grimy. I don't yeah. care if you didn't think you were a friend. You up in them, you was up in them people house. Yeah, TV show or not, so much yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the article of a Hummer catching on fire in Florida after the owner of the vehicle had four containers of gasoline. It was like 20 gallons of gas. Four containers of gasoline in the home. Okay, so there's a, 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 apparently a um, gasoline shortage. But whatever happened to just use it? Ain't that where everybody went? Orlando? Oh, it didn't happen to no, Florida. That, uh, but ain't that Florida? No, uh, Florida. no uh, it was, it was, it was in a couple of places. places. Yeah, it, it was, was a one of places. But I'm just saying, but Florida. Florida. yeah, I was The saying. people that I work with are And I'm thinking like Memphis, I want to say Virginia. Yeah, something. Yeah, because the people I work with that are in Virginia were saying there was a gas shortage. Okay. But uh, it, what's crazy about this is it technically wasn't a gas shortage. <laughs> there, there was a a, a a hacker went to the the pipeline, like hacked mm -hmm. the computer systems and stopped the streaming of the pipeline. It was quickly reversed and was like <laughs> not even 24 hours later it was back up and running. Oh, but what wow. the problem was is that people heard on the news. Oh, the pipeline stopped. You know, you know, gas. So we're getting so gas. People went crazy <laughs> and going to the gas station, filling them in plastic bags, so Ziploc bags, totes, I all kinds of stuff. They were putting put them in uh, plastic. You're not supposed, supposed to do it. Yeah, you have to use it. They have gas cans for a reason because gas is a chemical. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, thanks hey, for watching. But uh, it, it's a freaking chemical. You can, and then the dude in the Hummer had the 20 gallons. But you can clearly smell the fumes of gas. Even oh. mom, even you know, anytime like you pump gas, I know you smell the gas. She was like, she said, she she said, was she was like so on fire. Fire. her jacket, and she like, nope, I want to smoke, but I'm not going to because it will all yeah. blow up. Yeah. And this dude lit a cigarette in his car. That's and so and idiotic. That is so idiotic. And that's, you yes. know that you have gas. Did he in your survive? car, not store property. They didn't say he died. They didn't say. He and then there was a woman too. No, I did. There was a woman too. The same thing happened to him, except she didn't light a cigarette. Her car crashed, 
and the sparks from the metal set the car on fire. Like, why are y'all hoarding gas? Like, this is ridiculous. Like, and this just shows how ignorant Americans can be. Like, you hear that there's a shortage. The first thing on your mind is you want to get all of it. Like, forget everybody else. I want to get all of it. Same thing like when COVID hit. Everybody was out there buying all the toilet paper, all the all the cleaning supplies. Like, you didn't know what the toilet paper was gonna do though. That's okay, because somebody on the news that. said, like, people are, like, going, taking news reports way too far, because somebody on the news said, oh, make sure you got enough of these essential items, you know, because we're going to be on lockdown because of the virus, and these motherfuckers went crazy and fought each other <laughs> over fucking <laughs> tissue. Yeah, so you should say, so that's why my sister told me to go get some damn yeah. ass chicken. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Been a gas shortage if people hadn't uh, acted like that. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> was fine. Y'all probably wouldn't even had noticed that this had happened if y'all had just calmed y'all asses down. I mean, I'm telling you, people were putting it in plastic bags, plastic bags, gas. And what are we? How are we gonna get it out of it? How are you gonna to get, get the gas out of the plastic bag? I mean, I swear. They were better it. off if letting other people get yeah, gas. Yeah, they were better off. Like, 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 like all the people whose cars business. caught on fire. Look at all of that gas wasted because you wanted to hoard it. And you ain't got no car to put it in. And you ain't got no car to put it in now. That's crazy. Gas, <laughs> <laughs> My dad used to do that, and then he used to light a cigarette. Oh, I used to be so scared, but he always did. Yeah, that. Did you, uh, Grandpa did that a lot. He was always working on cars. He no gas working on. Parked right into a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. Yeah, my daddy was. Ooh. He was about that life. He was like, I ain't afraid of nothing. Yeah, I that is so scared. crazy to me. It's like, I guess in their mind, is that survival mode kicks in. But damn, you gotta still take be cocky with your doing. But, but still, though, it's like, why be? That's selfish. Dude. That is. That's so. Because I feel if you fill up your gas tank, that should at least last you to get. Some days, well, maybe you can get everybody else. Hey, maybe, maybe, Y'all maybe. know where we are. We are in America. Yeah, the land of the <laughs> South <laughs> America. <laughs> the, yeah. the land of the uh, narcissists. Yes. All right. Speaking of that, uh, so a black men oh. made a post, basically insinuating that black women don't work out. We just get surgeries to, you know, improve our our, our body image. And he, he said he goes to the gym. He, go back he to the, the gym. go back to the image because it, the uh, the image of what he said is on the image. all three um, together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go go back to the go to that image so that they can see. So I think it's is uh, white and Latino women working out the gym. He never sees black women. All black women want to do is have surgery and not do the work. It costs $10 a month for them to just work out at the gym, which is clearly a blatant lie. Women do work out. It's just a lot of the times they're working out at home. Mm -hmm. They're going into certain like class groups where mm -hmm. not, like, not at an open gym. But a lot of black women do go to the gym, and I think it's very weird to me how somebody will take their one little scenario um they'll go through their one little gym and assume that every gym in america is that is like that gym it, it's ridiculous to me it's ridiculous like stop <laughs> looking for reasons to down talk black women it's a well-known fact that white women have plastic surgery way more than black women so stop doing the unnecessary thing. and then they're baseless like just because you never saw a black woman at the gym that you go you probably live in an area that's predominantly white or latina yeah. you can't get mad at black women because you don't see them at your gym what the hell kind of shit is that go to the ghetto gym <laughs> you'll see black women there maybe but we're yeah. smart planet enough to work out at home planet I know. most of us say, work out at home since yeah. the coronavirus yeah. but even before then i had bought me a gazelle like my i've always had issues with my weight going up and down but i took the initiative on my own to lose weight and I worked out at home. I was not going to a gym. I bought me a little gazelle and I was working out at home. So it's not that black women are lazy and aren't working out. They just may not be at the places you can. And that's what I was going to say. Like, I work out a lot at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, you I've do. never gone to a gym. Yeah. yeah. Ever. So, like you, like you were saying, I was very heavy after I had my daughter and I was like probably like 207. And I went down to like 147, 150, and I yeah. lost all that weight just by working out at home. Long, and what's crazy is, if they have equipment at home, that's 
that's better than having to go to the gym and you gotta pay them. Talking about some yeah. ten dollars a month. I gotta yeah. take that by make one time payment on a, a some kind of exercise equipment. <laughs> Have that, and I, I cannot work out whenever I want to. That's what I did. That's and how I'm having with. surgeries. That doesn't matter because that ain't go last. You have to keep. You have to be able to keep your your body in certain you know uh, image. So working out, you still have to work out. If you yeah, have surgery. yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of the people you're probably seeing at the yeah. gym already have some kind of surgery because yeah. they have to maintain that. You can't just exactly. have surgery and stay perfect forever. Yeah, you can't gain you weight. Still have to exercise. And if you're not changing your eating yeah. habits. Yep. You got to do something if you want to maintain that figure. You can't just keep getting life for every couple of weeks. All those things. And that highly offended me. I'm like, yeah, that bothers the crap. Boy, you know how many other ethnicities have plastic surgery more than we do? Like, come on. Come it's on. not black women in there getting lip fillers. It's not black women in there. Like, getting we lip already lip got our lips. Yeah, yeah, we're not the ones getting A lot lip of people, fillers. a lot of women with the, the breast implants. We already got our breasts. A lot of women with the enhanced butt. Now, I know I like the Brazilian butt, butt lift is very popular like in Brazilian culture. That's why it's called a Brazilian butt lift. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't say that the majority of black women are getting plastic surgery. Shit, we ain't Pam or stuff like that. We, we work out at home. We find the means. Shoot, we'll, we'll buy those ten dollar five uh, pound <laughs> drum bells from the store yeah, and do that at home <laughs> versus you know spending crazy money on some surgery. So that's just a ball face slide. And that also um, kind of sensitive. You want to talk about? I don't know if you want to still talk about it. But earlier we had a discussion about men feeling superior to women, especially oh. us black women. And so I feel like that also kind of ties into the story we just shared because I came from a black man and instead of him looking around the gym and be like, oh, okay, that's cool, you know, looking for, maybe find a workout partner. His first thought is, I don't see nobody here black. That's because they out there getting surgery. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> to think negatively. That's yeah. your first reaction. Yeah. I know, I've, there's been plenty of times where I walked into a, to a facility or a business and I'm the only black person there. Mm -hmm. I don't think to automatically ridicule the people yeah. in my community. I'm just thinking, well, I'm the only black person here. I don't really think much, in, much of it. But the fact that his mind went there, yeah. instead of thinking, oh, well, there's just not a lot of black women in this area. Yeah. Well, I'm going to just say that I feel a lot of black men that usually do stuff like that right off the bat, start talking about black women. I think that they uh, usually, black women won't date them. Yeah. Because why are they so mad? I saw that, yeah. But, um, but yeah, it's, it, it irritates my soul. And well, what it was is I had a debate with a friend of mine. Well, not a friend of mine, a friend of my brother. But, uh, my, my <laughs> brother, uh, shout, he, he might be watching. Shout out to the smartest <laughs> dumb people. My brother's pod, little podcast or whatever. Uh, they were talking about, you know, well, one of his co-hosts was talking about how men are basically superior to women and that women can't survive without men, you know, and how they do all of the, the uh, they have the strength, they do all of the heavy lifting in a sense, they build houses, they do this and this and that and this and this and that. And I'm like, hold on, I gotta stop you for one, homeboy. And he was like, uh, name a job that a woman can do that a, uh, that a, uh, a woman can do that a man can't do and I said well for one give birth mm -hmm. you can't give birth uh, and, and that's yeah a hell of a job but like I had to correct them on this because the truth is it's not that women can't survive without men men literally cannot survive without women like from the start of y'all lives like yeah. from, from the start of y'all y'all come from women this whole idea that women came from men makes no sense when you literally need we our body is a resource our body is a resource. Your body just is, you drop a little, you know, whatever, a little <laughs> squirt, and you're done. We do, our bodies handle all the work. Not only do we birth the babies, we feed the babies. We have the breast milk to feed the baby. So if the, there was a scorched, scorched earth and we're all starting over, it's the woman's body that's going to help grow life until that child is able to eat natural resources that grow from the ground. So to say that men are superior to women just because y'all think y'all are stronger. A woman's body is way more stronger than a man's body. Y'all cannot handle the ch uh, pain of childbirth. Y'all cannot handle uh, having periods. Y'all cannot handle any of that. 
And speaking of Paris, they actually did. did a, yeah, I posted the video. Yeah, yeah. Um, like a, I guess like a little. It's a kind of stimulator a study. Yeah. Where they put these little uh, stickers on your pelvis to show you what it's like to have cramps. Mm -hmm. They did it to a group of men and women, and the men were like crying over and dying and acting like <laughs> the end of the world, and all the women were like. My cramps are ten times worse than this. This is nothing. Yeah. This is nothing. All the women were this is nothing. While the men were acting like they were dying. And they do that too for um, the little pregnant belly yeah. for guys no. to, to see yeah. what it's like to be in Being labor. Pregnant, yeah. And also like um, guys who want to work in the work workforce. I feel like as long as you are trained, you have the knowledge to do a job, you can do it. Whether you're a man or a woman. I don't feel like if you're a lumberjack. Her. Okay, because the, the question was that yeah. he, he asked me, he said, so are you telling me that a woman can chop down a tree at eight months pregnant? I said, well, that qu question doesn't make sense because if you're talking about a woman that was already chopping down trees before she got pregnant, absolutely she can chop down a tree at eight months pregnant. If she was already chopping down trees, that was her career, she can definitely chop down a tree at eight months pregnant. And he just swore up and down, like, you don't know, I have a woman's body, I've been pregnant before, I can tell, I know what I can and cannot do. You cannot tell me that I'm weaker than you because you have no idea what my experience is like. The I know. That well, yeah. The way a woman is weaker than a man is punching. Say like, and sometimes even women are strong. I've not seen uh, men get knocked out by women, women before. Well, but I'm just saying, uh, mo most of the time, that's the only thing they can do to hurt a woman is hit them. And a woman can hit that and head hit right, that back. right back. But your punches won't hurt. Like, Unless you would touch. Them. There are some women Please, that that's one of my brothers. Well, they, they fought some of us before they had a weapon in my hands. I know my oh, punches ain't gonna hurt. Well, that's because you know you. you, and you I'm know boning, you're my arms are skinny. That's just I'm boning, my arms and are skinny. Like, I feel like women are more passionate, too. So when yeah. we put, our, you know, put force into it's, it's going to happen. So and if you're you not know, passionate about hitting that person, your, force, your punch may not be that powerful. But if you're passionate, then you hate that person, you want to hit that person. Yeah, yeah. Then, and that's then, another then thing you will. Will. Man, man, I, I didn't feel like I had to do that. You know how people say know. that moms get superhuman strength when they yeah. think their babies are in danger? Yeah. Like, like you can lift a car if you think your baby is under the car. Like women do have a ton of strength. Like the women's body is tied to nature. Mm -hmm. We are literally, they call it mother nature for a reason. Because nature has a lot of the same things that a woman body has. Like the, a uterus literally looks like a tree. Yeah. A uterus literally looks like a tree. So we are a part of nature. Our body is built to provide resources so that lives can continue to thrive and go on. A man is just there. Yeah. To plant a seed. And what does a man pants look like a snake? Because they out here snaking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> I have to say that. <laughs> that's funny, yeah. That's and, that, I always say, you know, everybody talk about that in the in biblical terms. They talk about the serpent, the fruit. That's what the people I said, I said, the serpent sounds like a lot like it could have been sex. The whole uh, sin thing was sex is what it sounds like to me. That's what it was. The snake was the, the penis and the and uh, the everything else kind of makes sense when you think about it. Yeah. And uh, we don't have X one here today, but we're supposed to continue our conversation that we left off um, last episode. He'll be back again. He'll be back next Sunday. Um, but we'll let him tell more yes, of his yeah, testimony, yeah. you know, kind of touched on it previously. But we left off saying um, the influence was about Little Lucy and the influence of... Um, Cartoons, TV, wanting to put out the image of being gay, and we had ended it right when it was getting juicy, because our video was kind of going over our, our time limit. Did you all want to touch base again on that topic before we go on? All I wanted to say was that gay imagery or images of gay people have always been in cartoons and movies since the dawn of time. And mm -hmm. I didn't even know. And what nobody <laughs> paid attention. Nobody <laughs> paid oh, attention to it. Like, like I people said, are more aware now yeah, but than back What then. it is is people are looking for something to be bad about now. Yeah. People weren't so sensitive back then. Back then people would see something silly and be like, oh, that's weird. Well, you, have, you have the new generation too that looks looks and dig into everything. Yeah, the, there's always a deeper meaning to everything. Like, oh, she's walking down the streets and she's got on shorts and he high heels she's looking for attention or i could just be hot motherfucking uncomfortable <laughs> even at um disneyland there's a whole fuss about 
Snow White. Oh, and the uh, kiss. That's ridiculous. Yeah, okay, so they said that the prince kissed Snow White without consent of her. So people, parents are outraged, like, oh, you're saying it's okay, just take advantage of women. She didn't give her consent to be kissed. I was like, when I was a kid, her she didn't and I kissed her and wiped her eyes. Yeah, yeah. And then I would have kissed her, she, she would have never walked right. right. And yeah. I was like, when I was a kid, I didn't even think about that. That was the stupid thing. That is stupid. But they are really mad about that. But the whole point of the story story was they said the only way she would wake is through true love's kiss. So somebody had to kiss her. And then at least they represent true love. Yeah, I mean, true love's kiss would only wake her. I was like, shit. I mean, if you want to look at that in real life terms, that person gonna sleep red, red, no way she had a true love kiss. <laughs> exactly. Like a romantic, romantic true yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're lucky if you get anything <laughs> at all. You lucky you're gonna be kissed by like 15 men and like, yeah, I gotta kiss from her, she's still asleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Exactly. So I think that outrage is ridiculous. And like all of this outrage about supposedly cancel culture and Mr. Potato Head and all of that. What did shit. he do? That's no, people are mad that um Mr. Potato Head, it's not called Mr. Potato Head anymore, it's just called it's Potato like, Head. Yeah, it's uh, it, but it's because... Now they the ones who started stuff. Yeah. Making yeah. it, making right. it be a two different because thing. It's because not only do So mad! Oh, they, they canceled Mr. Potato Head. He's still available. It's just but you don't have to get just Mr. Mr. Potato Head. Head. One, because I thought it was two different ones. I think you buy Mr. Potato Head. It used to be Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Now oh. they just give you mm -hmm. a potato head with a bunch yeah. of assortments, and you can just make whatever you want. Oh. Man, woman, whatever. They starting that mess about them because. But they have people like that too. Uh, what are they called? Mm -hmm. So where you have both uh, genders. Hey, Mom. This for oh y'all. Oh my God. 50 Cent is the coolest. He is so cool. He okay. gave me a hug. <laughs> told me happy late Mother's Day. Gave me a red t-shirt. It was really nice. I didn't see the t-shirt. Didn't show me. Yeah, girl, I wore it and took it off. After you I said I wore it and took it off. <laughs> took it off since I came back from where I was what born. Oh, y'all don't want me to talk about 50 Cent? It's all so I think it, we're a little, no, okay, I think it's not about you talking about 50 Cent. Yeah. Oh, it's I said. He was selling. Hundred dollars for these bottles, five hundred. No, the highest bottle that I saw, which was champagne, was two hundred ninety-nine dollars. If you paid over. All the people that got there first got the cheap bottle. Right. But I do agree with my mom. He was very polite. Um, he was supposed to, the, it was from 4 to 6. Um, he stayed past 6 o'clock, way past the bottle. Like almost 8. Yeah, past 8 because there's still a line out. A little yeah, line. A little line. Yeah. But uh, I was like, thank you so much for seeing. Like, of course, of course, he was just really, really, really polite. Mm -hmm. Just to think about how many people he already has seen, and he still has that same energy, yeah. that same kindness. That same good energy. That was, that was really awesome. And, um, yeah, I'll never open it. We are scarling a lot. Yeah, I'm noticing that. Why, well, talking about women being, not uh, being beneath men. Oh, yeah, because, hey, I'm not lying when I say we are a part of nature. We literally we are. We are scrambling a lot. We are, I'm noticing that. We are scrambling a lot. I don't know. Facebook, what y'all got against us? Like, for real. We don't be saying nothing bad. We know, but we bring in gender and we talk about we talk about that's life though it's we, talk, life. we talk about you should say the stuff they be having on youtube yeah, yeah, but yeah, you, you pay for seeing what we do just you 
can't ignore shit just because it makes certain people uncomfortable. And that's a, another thing that bothers me about people. Hey, if you don't like it, you take your ass over there. Don't in, uh, involve yourself in this conversation because I'm talking about it. Ain't nobody going to stop me from talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Well, any final things? Um, back to what I was saying about 50 Cent. <laughs> he's really a nice guy considering that he's a, he can be a troll on the internet. Um, but definitely support him by his, his friends. And, all and the watch home. Power Ghost too, I think it is. I watched Power all day yesterday and they had a marathon. I'm glad they met him and he was nice. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care for 50 Cent. His trolling. Like just us scrambling. talking, like us getting scrambled oh. and stuff, and telling the truth, you know. Yeah, because uh, hey, we he, he, have to play around. He with apologized her. to her though, but and then, then she continued knows. to do stuff. He continued to post stuff, but and she was like, it, maybe he just liked to say stuff. No, he's a troller. He's a he's a professional troller. Didn't the girl even say that? That he he just troll. He's nice. He's just trolls on the internet. Yeah, he 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 says out loud what most people are thinking, I guess. And it'd be mean though, like you know, it, it'd be mean. But that's just it. Listen, well, it's nice, nice to me. Facebook is really pissed me off with this scrambling. Even in our setting, we, we have it to where they can't make a decision to basically cut us out. If, and they still do. They are start doing it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, we'll see you. If you want to find the words? Oh, I just wanted to say uh, I wanted to shout out John Oliver from the show oh, yeah. last week tonight with John Oliver. He did something that I've never <laughs> seen done before. A white British man. And he did it so, and it was truthful. I would highly recommend people to go. He has a new episode today. It's the one from last Sunday that I'm telling people to watch. The one from last Sunday it was really good. I highly recommend it. He did a great job. All right, mom. No final thought. You want to get scrambled? <clears throat> I, I got nothing else to say. Okay. Well, um, I'm not sure exactly the date, but in a few weeks. We're going to have a special guest. We're going to have, I don't know if you guys ever heard of him, Nova the uh, Rebel. Um, he's a rapper and he is signed with Crazy Bone. And he has agreed to do our show. So I'm going to work with him and come up with a um, schedule. But check him out on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. He, he's super cool, super dope. And um, hopefully we'll see you all. Well, we will see you all. <laughs> we will see you all. We need back. We need we back. We need back. We need back. Yeah, they can't Thank stop us. <laughs> We'll be back. Can't stop. Don't stop. Uh -uh. <laughs> Bye. Bye.